Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Stormworks. Today we're working on the MBT yet again and today we're actually going to be changing the jet engine out of this thing and replacing it with a diesel. Main reason for that is just to uh, make it a little bit more simple. So let's go ahead and get straight to it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is actually delete the engine at the back. Let's go and delete this guy, this guy. We'll actually delete this one, this one, this one, this one and all of the other bits involved, including this, which I believe actually goes all the way to there, this guy all the way up to there, and I'm actually going to delete the top of this as well, uh, which means I'm going to delete this guy and this guy, which is crazy. Yeah, we're going to delete this guy too. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and grab this color. We're going to do this from here to here. Uh, I am actually going to go ahead and paint this really quickly, uh, kind of like this. There we go. And I guess all of the interiors should really be white, shouldn't it? So we're going to do these guys. I am actually going to get rid of these and replace it with this instead. There we go. On the inside it's this color, on the outside it's that color. Okay, I'm actually going to delete these guys too, because right now we don't need it. And we're going to paint that in there like that. Okay, paint these guys too. Excellent. We now need to figure out where an engine can even go. Alright, so what I'm thinking we do is we actually have a three-cylinder engine. We attach these guys uh, onto here somewhat like this. There we go. Shove those guys into there like that. And we actually grab these and move it upwards. Here we go. There we go. So we can actually have a clutch on one side, obviously. And on the other side, we can have um, all the other stuff. <laughs> all the other stuff that is necessary. Put this here for now. Merge it with this. Good. What we can then do is actually get ourselves some cylinders, and we can shove those onto the sides like this. There we go. Three-cylinder engine. Awesome. Okay, so on this side, we're going to go with the belt drive stuff, because we need to. There we go. On the other side, we're going to go with a 3x3 clutch, again, because we need to. And then from there, we actually need to delete this, this, and this to allow the power to come backwards from there. So actually put it there instead. Good. Go to pipes. Let's go ahead and make sure that this does actually come backwards and round. There we go, just like this. And into there, like so. Okay. Very nice indeed. Alright, there we go. Attach that guy straight into there like that. We're going to paint the outside like so, and the inside probably like this. Okay, so far so good. We are now going to have to move these guys out of the way. If you're wondering what they are, they're the switch boxes for the doors on the top. Alright. Push that there, merge it together, there we go. What we then need to do is figure out what else we need. <laughs> I could actually make this a six cylinder engine, couldn't I? Oh, that is actually something we could possibly do. I kind of like the idea of it, but it's probably a bad idea. Anyway, let's go ahead and shove some starters on here. We'll go with uh, one there, one there, very nice. And another one here, just like this, and another one right there. To start three cylinders, we probably Probably don't need that many, but that's fine. Uh, then I've decided we're going to do six. Although three is probably fine. Let's do three first and then six afterwards. All right, we are going to need a thingamabobby for this. So let's do this on both sides. We're going to need a fuel tank. Uh, that in there, we're going to drop it down by one. All right, so we're going to do this, which is a bit crazy. And then we're going to go ahead and just do uh, this right here. Although, actually, I need it to be bigger on the inside. So let's do this and this. I mean, that's not quite right. Yeah, that goes there. And then and then we do this. Okay, cool. So that's our fuel tank. Not the biggest, uh, so we might need to make it bigger. But it's fine for now. So let's go to fluid. We'll get ourselves a meter and a spawner. And we'll shove those in straight away, wherever they are. So there's the meter. And the spawner's down here somewhere. I always forget where it is. Okay. Paint that in there. Very good. And we'll have to attach all of that together, I guess. So, um, let's go to engine yet again. We're going to have to add fuel, air, and coolant and stuff like that to this. So let's do it. Yeesh. <laughs> Yeesh. I don't know whether I'll get away with this. I kind of want to just delete that. Shove this under here, kind of like this. And have it go straight up from here, but that seems weird. If I type in air, maybe it'll actually allow it to work, though. I don't mind that actually being somewhat on show. Yeah, for now, we'll leave it like that. Uh, we're going to go to the underside, and we're going to go to engine again. 
We are going to need to do fuel next. So let's shove this guy under here. Well, delete this guy and we'll have it go straight down into there. So get ourselves a fluid port. Shove it straight onto the top of this. And add a pipe directly in. There we go. Uh, I'm not really going to worry about coolant just yet. But what we should probably worry about is the exhaust. I'm going to have that come out the uh, side right here. So let's go ahead and just grab one. Exhaust. Yes. I'm going to shove it back there on this guy. Oh, I can't. Okay, I'm actually going to do this, which seems weird, but don't worry about it. We're going to add a catalytic converter right there, just like that. We're then going to have it go pipe round this way. Pipe it this way. Add another one onto there like this. Add another one onto there like this. And another one onto there like this. And we are good. If I can shove another block back in there, we'll be fine, I think. Oh, I don't know. I mean, it might work. And then we're going to add a fluid port, obviously, to the end. And that should be good. So, shove this into there like that. Excelente! Alright, nice. Alright, we've got an engine microcontroller. That is going to go right there for now. Let's go ahead and connect this to the air throttle, which is up there. Uh, we're going to connect this guy to the fuel throttle, which is right there. Starter can go on... Oh, actually, no. Starter goes to this, 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 and this. Uh, the key, which is this one, goes to the button, and that's all good. RPS obviously goes to this, and the throttle input can go to there. We're then going to delete this guy. Okie dokie. Right, that's fine. We're then going to need an output that actually goes into these, so let's do that next. Oh, and we're going to need clutches too, so those go on there. Alright, very good. We're then going to go straight to a pipe, which is going to go on here like this. Actually, no, it's not. It's not. We're going to attach these guys together, delete that in the center, Shove this guy going upwards. We can then go forwards, and that's fine. Realistically, obviously, the tank could be this much shorter, but we'll leave it. We'll leave it for now. Uh, in the future, we might actually try... <laughs> try our best to uh, go to some sort of size limitation. But for now, because we don't have that, we're just going to go ahead and make it as big as we want. Okay, all well, that's fine. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, Sort this out. So the throttle is actually also going to control the clutch. Alright, interesting. Right motor is going to go to this guy. Left motor is going to go to this guy. And they go to here. Okay. So A and D. Sensitivity is going to go up to like 70%. W and S, I guess, is going to go up to like 70% as well. And there we go. Okay, does the engine work? Yeah, it seems to have started. There we go. Engine is running. Seems to be stalling itself out, though. What is going on? It's not actually running anything while it's stalling. This seems weird. Okay, I've already decided then. We're going to delete these guys real quick. Going to delete this real quick. And this one. We're going to send this one back over. Grab this. Send it across to here. Grab this. <laughs> send it across. And this one. Send it across there. Bosh. We're then going to go to the other side, grab one of these, shove it onto there like this. Uh, wait, actually, this. There we go. One, two, and three. We're then going to have to do something weird. <laughs> something really weird. Uh, there? Yeah, okay. Delete that guy and this guy. We're going to have to seal this off on the underside. So that can go there. Oh, man. This is weird. This is, is going to be very strange. Delete that and send it this way. Delete that and send it this way. This one, send it that way. And then we're going to attach those guys together with engine stuff. Manifolds. So we shove that onto there and onto here. And then we send it across. Okay, straight piece. One, two, three, four, five. And then on the underside of there, we actually seal all of this together like that. Okay, so now it's a six-cylinder engine instead of a... Three cylinder engine. Okay, see what happens. Bosh. Okay, and Bosh. And off we go. Okay. Okay. We might need a little bit of extra weight in here, but I think a diesel is definitely what we want. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to the underside and I'm going to add a bunch of weight blocks. We're actually just going to pretty much fill the underside with weight blocks. So delete it all going back to here and fill it in with this. There we go. 
Gonna delete this guy going backwards to there. Again, fill it in with this. This guy, do that. This guy, do this. And there we go. Okay. On the inside, we're gonna go ahead and jug this, like so. Okay. So now it weighs a hell of a lot more than it did. Let's see what it drives like. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Turn it on. Oh. Have I broke something? What would I have broken by doing that? Oh, there's no fuel. Yeah, okay. That's what I broke. So there's no fuel and there's no meter. So if we go to fluid ports again... Uh, oh, not fluid ports. Just fluid. Shove that into there. Shove the spawner into here. Go to the underside. Paint this again. Jug. And spawn it in again. We should be good to go! Please say we're good to go. So we do this and this. Oh, nice! Yeah! And now we drive. Okay, so now that we've got more weight, actually turning is fine. Uh, we still... oh yeah. <laughs> we still tip over, but that's okay. It's a lot more stable than it was. Um, is the RPS limited? Yeah, to 20. Interesting. That's about enough, though. Another thing that I'm going to do is actually go to both sides. I'm going to delete this guy. And I'm just going to go around adding weight blocks. So those guys are going to go in there. Uh, I'm going to add some across the back end right here. I would like to go behind this one. Is it there? I think it's there. Uh, across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And add them in here as well. And there we go. So that's a little bit of extra weight. Um, I'm going to add some in the turret as well, which isn't great because it raises our center of mass, but it's fine. Let's delete these guys right here. We'll just shove it in there. Okay, interesting. I've added even more weight in the sides between the tracks, so now when we turn on the engine again... There we go, we start driving. The engine doesn't stall out because it's actually powerful enough to run this, that's good. And we are fine, yes! Okay, nice. Let's see if we can still get up this hill with diesel power instead of electric. Yes, go this way. Nice. Okay. So far, so good. Kind of. Okay. And then we want to just, like, floor it up here, I think. I don't know. Is this going to work? <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh, my. I'm bouncing off things because I went up the wrong way to begin with here, I think. Now maybe we just don't have enough power. That is also an option here. I don't think we do. But to be fair, it is a vertical cliff, so maybe we shouldn't have enough power anyway. Oh. Okay. Everything else is fine. Oh, I did accidentally just ram that, but... You know, everything else is fine. Alright, I'm assuming now that uh, it's actually too heavy to float, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and put it in the water anyway, just because I think it'll be kind of fun to do. So we're gonna drive it over here. And I'm going to drive it straight into the water. I think we're just going to submerge ourselves, but I guess we'll see. Oh, it does want to float, kind of, but then, yeah, very much not so much. <laughs> very much not so much. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Let's drive straight back out, and hopefully it'll uh, empty out. Uh-oh. It's stalled. Oh, no. I'm dying. Okay, I decided to change the color of the tank back to uh, this color, and I think it looks pretty sick in this color too. Um, but yes, I'm actually really pleased with the diesel. I think the diesel is going to be good for us. Uh, obviously, we can't float anymore, but that's actually fine. That is okay. Yeah, look at it. Let's try and turn the turret around. Oh, that's pretty sick. Look at that. I think this vehicle actually looks really awesome. I might need to change this, and I don't know how I'm going to change it or what I'm going to change it to, but... Look at that! That is so cool! And then, if we want to access the engine, we just do this and this, and we can actually get to most of the engine right here. Obviously, uh, to get to the other bits of the engine, we'd have to go inside, which I think I can actually do via this, can't I? So I'm inside here, then we go in here, and we can access this bit of the engine from there. So I might put a bit of um, a door or a hatch in here so we can actually still access that. That makes sense. Yeah! All right, cool. Okay, so I believe that is actually where we're going to end this video for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know that, like, we didn't do a terribly crazy amount of stuff today, but in the next one, I think we'll probably work on adding some ammunition into the can, uh, the, the turret, uh, and doing something with that. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.